Hi, this is Carl Thompson. This is a short tutorial on the ConnectWise managed two-way ticketing integration with ShadowSafe. So we're going to go ahead here and log into one system. Then we're going to go down to configuration and integrations, which is the landing page for any third-party integrations. So when you click add credentials, you'll need to put in the company name, which is the same as the ConnectWise company name you use to log on to ConnectWise. Then we're going to jump across into ConnectWise. What you'll need to do here is go into System, then Members. This is where your users are listed. And for ShadowSafe, we integrate into the API members. So ShadowSafe is integrating with the API members, which is how ConnectWise recommend to do it. So you'll need to go ahead here and create an API key for this member. And this is what ShadowSafe uses to authenticate with ConnectWise. So this will give you a private key and a public key, which you'll need to use. Please also bear in mind that when you create this, it is the only time you'll have visibility on what that private key is. So you'll need to copy that, and we're going to go ahead here and paste that straight into ShadowSafe. So public key, private key. Uh, and then you'll need to put in the ConnectWise region URL. So in this case, we're using a staging server for, uh, for development, but you'll go ahead and put in your appropriate ConnectWise server here. Now, what we'll do next is we're going to take a quick look in ConnectWise at the tickets that are there. Um, and this will just show us um, what the most recent tickets are. And we can see here there's no uh, current ticket for ShadowSafe. So now we're going to go into ShadowSafe. Um, we're going to search for a specific machine here that has no disk attached with it. So I'm going to apply a policy and run a backup. The intention here is that this backup will fail so that I can show you what then happens next in ConnectWise. So that job has just failed. We'll jump into ConnectWise and just refresh this. And we'll see a new ticket with a status of new um, that says backup job for machine no disk failed. So this description is limited to 100 characters, so it's not expecting to be a long description. Um, but what we're going to do now is jump back into vCenter where that machine was and attach a disk to it. So the idea is I want to uh, fix the problem, which is that this machine had no disk, uh, then run a new backup um, that will be successful, and then show the change that will then flow through into ConnectWise Manage. So just finalizing that that disk has been attached. Uh, now I'm going to jump back into that machine and run a job. Um, and we'll see quite quickly here, this is obviously, there's no data there. So that is going to go in, create the disk, uh, create the backup straight away, which was successful. Again, refresh and connect wise, and we will be able to see that same ticket now has a status of closed. Um, so the idea here is that ShadowSafe will remember for each machine if it has created a ticket for a specific error type so that it doesn't keep creating additional tickets for the same issue. And in this case, once the issue is resolved, it will go and close that for you. Thanks for watching this short tutorial.